I love the British band Oasis. The group was founded by two brothers, Noel and Liam Gallagher. Hard party, brilliant and obnoxious. One time during a recording session, Noel attacked Liam with a cricket bat. They were like the Beatles, but with less meditation and more cocaine. And it didn't take a meddling girlfriend to break them up. In 2009, after a huge fight with his brother, Noel quit the band and started Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Now, Noel Gallagher is one of my heroes. I bet we have loads of stuff in common. I like to party, I'd love to quit my job, and I think my brother's a c too. I'm pretty sure by the end of this, we're gonna be best friends. Thank you, Noel, for being on the show. Pleasure. You're like my favourite person in the world. I know, that's very sweet of you. Isn't it nice? It was moving, actually. It is nice. It was moving. Why are you on my show? Why would you do this? Do you want the honest answer or the showbiz answer? I'll have the honest. The honest answer is I'm doing Jimmy Kimmel, which is just around the corner, and I had a couple of hours, and I thought, we'll throw this lad a bone, seeing as though he claims he knows me. I appreciate that. I used to live in Manchester. I lived there for two no, years. No, did you? Do you miss Manchester? Yeah, I do miss it a little bit, yeah, I've got to say. You talk about your relationship with your father and that you uh, he used to hit you and et cetera, et cetera. My dad kicked the living daylights out of me. I was hit by my mother, but I don't think I was hit enough, because you're amazing. <laughs> Right? I was just hit a reasonable amount to be good. <laughs> right. Right? Michael Jackson was amazing. He got leathered. And he got leathered. He got leathered. You don't, you don't get Michael Jackson That's true. through positive reinforcement. I think it's the best thing that ever happened to me. How's your relationship with him now? Is it, is... I haven't seen him for, what, 20 odd years? Yeah. So, not good? <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss Oasis? I miss playing the guitar and not being the front man. I miss right. that sometimes. Some, I sometimes miss that, but I much prefer, I much, 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 f***ing much prefer the vibe of what I do now. What keeps you going? The way the world is now, if you've got it in you to put out art, then you should. Because right. there's enough shit in the world as it is, and on the internet and on YouTube and all that, that people like us, we have to do more, I think. People like us? It's happening. F*** Liam. Noel and I can start our own band. What bands do you like now? Guitar bands are shite these days. So we're in this bar in, in Hollywood after a, after a gig, and this guy said, excuse me, can you, can you just come and say hello to my friend? He's a really big fan, and he's like, hey, man, um, you really inspired me to play and all that, I just want to say, and I was going, oh, what band are you in? He said, I'm in the bass player in Maroon 5. And I'm, Maroon 5? F***ing <laughs> shit. <laughs> How the f*** have you got Maroon 5 from what I'm doing? <laughs> Be gone out of my sight. Anyway, so we all pile in these cars and go up to this party. At about four o'clock in the morning, I'm coming out of the toilet. The bass player from Maroon 5 has stood there waiting to get in the f***ing bathroom. And I'm like, f***ing hell, are you still here? And he went, this is my house. <laughs> and I was like, this is great house. In my career, I've been drunk on stage several times. I'm a little lit right now. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I've been very open about my cocaine taking. Mm. Uh, as you have, both in lyrics and in just talking about mm. taking drugs. How are you going to tell your, your two sons and your daughter, hey, don't take drugs? Well, the drugs are not dangerous, it's the people that take them, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to be good at it. Well, I was f***ing really good at it. I was great I, at I it. come out the other side. F***ing idiots. Spoil could, it for the rest I of us. I could drive faster in a car, it's all these other c***s driving around me who are no good. F***ing idiots. Yeah, you've got to slow down for them. You've got to accommodate them. Well, look, I think there's a lot of things that are a lot more dangerous than drugs, obviously. Now in America, we have all the problems with guns and school shootings and stuff like that. More guns are not the answer, are they? Well, statistically, it's more dangerous to be a school teacher in America than being a cop in Britain. It's insane. The president doesn't help, though, does he? And he's saying, <laughs> what we need is arm the teachers. So what do you think of Trump? I was having him for the comedy value. Yeah. I like the mental image of him sitting in bed on a Saturday evening in his underpants having a Twitter spat with the guy from f***ing North Korea. What is your opinion on social media and all that stuff? I think it's the f***ing biggest waste of energy that's ever been um, landed upon the human race. I'm with you. Can you tell the people at Comedy Central who make me tweet every f***ing day for no apparent reason? Only f***ing squares yeah, are on yeah. social media. There is no cool people on it. It's for f***ing idiots. Yeah, yeah. Who have nothing better to do than to sit around and, you know, photograph food my son has more photographs taken of him in a day than I had of my entire childhood. <laughs> I feel like this is going great. I mean, we hate all the same stuff. But there's still one thing I'm dying to ask. One, one last question. Mm. Uh, I've been a lifelong fan, and um, I know I shouldn't be asking this, but I'm, I'd kick myself if I didn't ask. Um, do you like me? 
I've, I must say, I've seen you pissed on the telly. Yeah. And I thought, that's good. Drinking lager, just going for your f and he's a f That was the best impersonation of me that anyone's yeah. ever done. And the other fella, he's a no. Smoking, drinking, and thinking, that's just like one of the Oasis dressing rooms in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to hang out, are we? No. 